Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, it's been a while. Your boy duty and the award show has been on hiatus, but we're back again in the new year, folks. And of course, we are, like always, contractually obligated by union rules to nominate the most valuable dent of the work week. And before we go any further, big ups to Dark Sea the Flow for posting this uh, very exquisite image of Catherine Bennell merge with Review Tech USA <laughs> on Twitter last night. So let's give a round of applause to our boy Dark Sea the Flow. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. All righty, folks. So let's just get into it, folks. So we are here to nominate the most valuable den of the work week. And he prays at least once a week on these people, these degenerates, these losers who have nothing better to do than to stream and wa or watch and sh watch a 41-year-old balding boomer stream video games all day long. That's right, folks. But of course, we're not here to complain. We're just happy that they're here, that they're here on stream throwing money to fill. That's what's the most important thing in this whole endeavor, folks. So round of applause for the idiots that keep giving Phil money. That's right, that's right. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, folks, so let's get into it. So as you guys know, if you watch my uh, financial audit that I conducted, Phil did okay last week. Uh, the fat cat did... Uh, come in and invigorate and give Phil a nice bump in support and actually help save the day off. So big ups to Fat Cat for coming on board and, uh, you know, gracing her big self uh, to everyone and allowing her to sit there and, in the most awkward interview ever. Uh, but of course, it, it, it managed to give Phil some money. So who gives a fuck, right? Alrighty, folks. So the first nominee for most valuable den of the work week, of course, is $2.00. Two dollars who normally to who normally tips two dollars because you know that's all he can afford managed to scrape a few dollars uh more than two dollars and donated twenty two dollars to Phil. That's right. Apparently this den has a fetish with the number two, uh probably because he likes eating uh his own shit because of course uh Phil loves scat, so apparently these dents probably love scat as well. So big up to two dollars for managing to save up a few bucks and throwing $22 Phil's way. But of course, we all know that's just not enough. That doesn't cut it. But we are forced by union rules to nominate anyone who was the highest tipper during a specific stream. The next dent was, of course, is Play Last of Us. And I'm guessing this is probably one of Phil's current, uh, current viewers who decided that, you know, he didn't want Phil to kick him off stream. So he created a sock account called Play The Last of Us and dropped a $50 dono asking Phil to play The, to, to play the Last of Us remake. And um, yeah, but you know, uh, if you want Phil to play anything, you have to first buy it for him and uh, maybe add on a couple, a couple additional zeros uh, to that tip of yours. So the next most valuable den, of course, is a favorite of ours who pops in and out whenever Phil seems to be struggling with tips and that, of course, is Lisa Liu. She came in and dropped $85 uh, this work week. Uh, she did two tips on two streams and actually was the highest tipper on both streams. And, of course, both, both streams were struggling for support. So a lot of us assume that this is an OIC sock account, which we all know it is. Uh, but, you know, since, uh, since OIC decides to go by the name of Lisa Liu and the contributions were significant, we will credit Lisa Liu for the donation. That's right, folks. The next dent is, of course, Haseo. Haseo came in and dropped a $30 tip, and I'm not sure what the hell is going on with Haseo. He used to be one of the most valuable dents and super pay pigs, and he's just fallen off. We're not sure what's going on. We're not sure if he's having uh, home issues. We're not sure if his mother finally kicked him out uh, or is making him pay rent. We don't know what it is, but we definitely have to find out what's going on with poor Haseo. Uh, 
The next nominee, of course, is Anonymous. Now, many speculate that Anonymous is an OIC sock account. And I'm pretty positive it's that way as well. Well, anyway, Anonymous came in and dropped a $100 donation this week. And apparently, I think it was two $50 donations. So they were the most valuable debt for the uh, for two streams, dropping 50 bucks each for a grand total of $100. So thank you, OIC, I mean Anonymous, for your generous, generous tip. Uh, the next dent uh, for nominated for the most valuable dent is, of course, Misery Lover, who came in and dropped a $32 dono on one of the night streams and helped Phil manage to get to the $50 tier one tip code. So big ups to Misery Lover. Uh, you know, your one or two donations every month, uh, I guess you're fine, but, you know, try to step it up. You're, you're falling into the Hoseo category in, uh, in donations, folks. Now, the next nominee is a very pathetic, sad one who I think at this point we're going to have to start showing tough love and maybe not acknowledging them whatsoever. And that's Jack Raxter. Jack Raxter isn't even doing his weekly $25 tide for Street Fighter anymore. It's pretty fucking pathetic. Every once in a blue moon, he'll come in and drop the $25 dono. So we don't know what the hell is going on with him. He's just like a sale. He used to be one of the huge pay pigs and now barely shows up barely shows up probably not even as a member and if he is a member he probably got a gifted membership from oic doesn't even fork out four dollars for a membership what a cheap asshole anyway thanks Jax, for the 25 bucks now the last nominee of course is one minute man man one minute man is a tried true uh super dent who comes in and drops money every single day and, uh, you know, we, we just don't know what the fuck's going on there. Many people speculate that that's Phil himself. Many speculate that that's actually his mom, Linda Burnell. Of course, these two speculations are brought to you by your boy, Duty. <laughs> but it makes no sense anyway. We're hoping that Mike Clum actually comes. Uh, he, he clums. Hopefully, Mike Clum, Clum will clum and uh, investigate One Minute Man and find out who the hell this person really is. Many think he's Planet Jeff. Many people think it's his mom. Many people think it's Phil. We just don't know. So hopefully, Mike Clum, if you're listening to this video, please make sure that you uh, in uh, uh, pay for an investigator to research who the fuck One Minute Man is. We would truly appreciate it. Alrighty, folks. So that's it. So now, what you've all been waiting for, the most valuable dent of the work week is... The Fat Cat! Oh, that's right, folks. That's right. The lovely, lovely, lovely Fat Cat is the most valuable den of the work week. Big ups to Fat Cat for getting her ass up from that TV and that video game, from playing Skyrim or whatever the fuck she does every day. Thank you. Thank you. We truly appreciate you gracing us uh, with, you know, gracing us on DSP streams and helping Phil manage to rack in uh, 300 big ones. That's right, folks. And of course, we all know that that money will all go to WWE Champion. So Vince McMahon also thanks you or the Saudi Princess, whoever the fuck owns uh, Sp Scopely now. But thank you. Thank you. And by the way, <coughs> chef's kiss. Big ups to all, all of the, all of the detractors just memeing and creating content around Cat on Twitter. It's just been lovely. It's just been beautiful. Here's one right here from Poems Future. Big ups, Poem Future. Apparently, uh, <laughs> Project 700 alluding to the fat cat's uh, weight and her moo, moo here. I did see another really funny one. Thousand sister, sisters, thousand pound sisters or whatever. Oh, it was hilarious. Oh, it was fucking hilarious, but I can't find it now. So big ups to Fat Cat for coming out and gracing the stream and making sure that Phil did hit that tier three tip goal. Although he didn't give put on a vest or a hat, which pissed me off because, you know, the, the dents deserve that. They really, really do. So everyone, let's give a round of applause to the Fat Cat. That's right, and in honor of the fat cat, let's play a quick clip of Phil introducing 
our girl cat on stream purpose so that we could have a nice civil stream tonight so they're all here and since they're all here that means if you guys act up and you reference detractor things and you say dumb shit you're going to end up getting timed out banned or worse and then i don't want to get 400 emails tomorrow on my day off from people begging me to be unbanned from the stream okay fair enough can we start all right ready all right, good evening, everyone, and welcome. Bam! <laughs> welcome to the Burnell family stream here on DSP Gaming. How are you all this evening? I hope that you're doing well. And I welcome you here to the show. The first of maybe many, we'll see. As we already have Jasper here. And by the way, that wasn't planned. We had no idea what was going to happen uh, with Jasper. When we turned it, when we came in here and turned on the cameras and everything, we didn't even know if he'd be afraid to come in here. Because remember, we've not even done a stream together since we had Jasper. That's how long it's been. The last time Cat was on stream was 2018. All right. So good evening, everyone. Would you like to say hello to the audience? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. We're just here to hang out with you guys tonight. All mm -hmm. right. And I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of questions. What's going on? Why is Cat on stream? You know, we're here to field questions. But we're, before we get started, I'm just going to say this up front. Number one, no, this is not a pregnancy announcement. I don't know who put that seed in yeah. everyone's mind. It's not correct at all. This is not that whatsoever. And number two, we are not here to talk about any documentary. All right? So it already... Yeah, sure. Whatever the fuck you say, Phil. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it, but that was hilarious. I find that the only person that was thinking Kat was pregnant is fucking Phil. And of course, it was just an excuse to say, uh, no, she's not pregnant, folks. She's just super fat, which we can all see here. And the one thing that came from this fucking in this stream was confirm DoorDash obsession with Phil. All that money, all those tips that the dens have given to Phil. I've gone to WWE Champions and secondly DoorDash because apparently you can't get this big in five years if you're just eating healthy at home as Phil tries to let people know. The one meal out a week we know is just utter bullshit. I'm sorry. People don't get this big eating out once a week. It just doesn't. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I digress. Anyway, big ups to Cat for coming out. Big ups for Cat for just, you know, putting down the fucking controller putting down the spoon, and coming up and spending two hours to hang out with the dents and ensuring that Phil made tons of money and she actually saved the day off. So big up to Fat Cat. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, that's it, folks. You don't have to go home, but you need to fucking leave. Thank you for coming out. And yes, we will be resuming these weekly award shows every week uh, on Thursdays. Hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Drop a comment in the uh, in the comment section. And uh, yeah, definitely. All right, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.